getting a tan. My knee is the honey stomach. Suppose you forgot about Susie. You promised to take her to Vegas this weekend. That's right. Who lose your money, Vegas? You think Susie wants to live on her tree? Her old man owns half the west side. Let's go make that bucks, Chuck. Get a house. Get a car. You go far. You're a star. A great day. A private plane. No pain, no gain. You be rich. rich. You reach the top. There's just one hitch. You can't stop. There will always be somebody waiting to take it away from you. But that just means you'll have to be better than that. Here. Got something for you. Then, Lord Krishna explains the mode of ignorance. He says that when there's an increase in the mode of ignorance, the soul displays madness, illusion, inertia, and darkness. Slow down, man. There's more to life than hard work. Sit down. Relax. I've got just the thing for you. Here, let's try some refreshment. Oh. Yeah, feels better already, doesn't it? No spirit so a fellow like you could go far. Think so? But he worked too hard. Too responsible, too conscientious. How can you really enjoy life with all that stress? You better have some more. Drink up. Stop. 
poison your system. And you, disgusting. When is the last time you took a bath? Well, uh, what day is it? Come with me, spirit soul. You know, you really should give up intoxication because it is very bad for you. Really? But he said that intoxication is just another one of nature's gifts. Yeah. No, it is the misuse of nature's gifts. All plants, minerals, and so on do have some use. But human life is meant for a higher purpose, for learning. Intoxication muddles the mind and weakens the body and senses. Hmm. Maybe you're right, goodness. And you know, there are many good reasons for becoming vegetarian. Such as? To live in harmony with nature. One must purify one's heart. But the cruelties of animal slaughter harden the heart more and more. You know, goodness, in your presence, I feel like living a simple, wholesome life, where I can study most of the time and advance myself in knowledge. Yes. Actually, only with me can you really gain the knowledge to see things as they are. You will never get any intelligence by associating with these lower modes of passion and ignorance. This book, thank you, the Bhagavad Gita, has a lot to say about awakening your intelligence so that you can distinguish between food, worship, and activities in the three modes. Study it very carefully so that you can avoid the tricks of passion and ignorance. Thank you, goodness. Let me see. What does it say here? One in the mode of ignorance acts whimsically for no purpose. Even though he has the capacity to work, he makes no endeavor. That sounds like me sometimes. One in the mode of passion is never satisfied with the position he has already acquired, but seeks to elevate his position. He develops a great hankering for mundane sense enjoyment. Yes, I know that feeling. So that's the mode of passion, huh? A person in the mode of goodness is satisfied with his work or intellectual pursuit. In the mode of goodness, one can see things as they are. You see, spirit soul? You can live a very happy life by my influence. You can work to save the environment. You can become a vegetarian. And you can get into art, poetry, and fine music. Hey, don't listen to goodness. I'm not through with it. He's mine. Now, spirit soul, don't be influenced by this stupid mode. Let's concentrate on holistic living try to make your life here as pure and pleasant as possible. But wait, it says here that if I'm to be serious, I have to transcend all three modes, because one does not need to accept the dictations of the material body. Whoa, I'm not this body. By performing transcendental devotional service to Krishna or God, one destroys the reactions of his past karma and does not create new reactions. Thus, he is not bound to this material world, but travels on to the spiritual world. But spirit soul, you... Thank you, goodness. Thank you. By your influence, I was able to give up the abominable habits forced upon me by passion and ignorance and see things clearly. I know now that I am not this body and that I have to transcend all three modes, and that I belong in the spiritual world. But how do I get there? What do I do now? Maybe this will tell me. One can very quickly transcend the three modes of nature by chanting the Maha Mantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare.